this is enough saliva to fill two swimming pools. Wow! The tank doesn't swim in that too, okay? No second thought. Hello, I am in Kang. Welcome to Kang Knows a Hope of Knowledge. Have you ever wondered why we can taste, see, and smell? That's all because of our bodies. This complex machine has millions of internal processes happening every second, all working together to keep us alive and well. Let's join Kang today to discover how extraordinary our bodies are. Number one, in an average lifetime, a single person produces enough saliva to fill two swimming pools. But Kang doesn't swim in that too, okay? No second thoughts. Every day, your body produces one to two liters of saliva. Saliva might seem a bit ordinary, but it's important for all of us. It helps digest food, fight infection, and so, so, so much more. One thing that you may not know is that saliva helps you talk. Your tongue can move around from words in speech patterns thanks to the moisture coming from your saliva. That's why people often have a bottle of water or in tank situation, a glass of water handy if they're giving a presentation. A little extra liquid can help the words flow, you know. Thank you, saliva. If you didn't exist, there may be no tank house. Number two, the liver is a superhero. It's true, your liver is the only organ that can completely regenerate itself. Someone donated his or her organ to someone else, and the liver will grow back to its original size again in a few weeks. It's a livering legend! Pun intended. Number three. Wisdom teeth do not make you wiser. Humans develop both teeth, lose them, and get a whole new set again. Then, later in early adulthood, we may have more teeth. It is called wisdom teeth because we emerge when we are adults, more mature, and might be wiser. However, unlike our ancestor, who need a larger jaw to chew tougher food, we cut, dice, chop, boil, steam, and bake almost everything we eat to make it softer. Many believe that wisdom teeth nowadays are unnecessary and can cause oral health problems and sometimes should be removed. Number four. Alas, earwax! Earwax is not really wax. That's right, the name comes from the waxy texture. Earwax is made partially from skin cells from the auditory or ear canal. As the cells drop off, they are pulled in to produce earwax. Surprisingly, not all earwax is the same. It comes in two forms. What? or dry. What kind you have depends on the genetics you have, just like eye color. Earwax safeguards your ears like other protective elements on your body, like your nose hairs or tears. You don't think much about them either, but they are an important part of preventing infection. Number five, the smell of nostalgia. The sense of smell seems to be so closely linked with your memories. Certain smells can trigger very strong emotions and memories almost instantaneously. Interestingly, women have a stronger sense of smell than men since they have more cells than the olfactory bulb, the area of the brain that is dedicated to the sense of smell. You know, whenever I smell instant noodles, immediately it brings me back to the trip in Europe when I have a lot of instant noodles with pepper for breakfast.
tell us about you. Any memory from your favorite fruit like me? Number six. Can you hear a damn spring? No. Regrettably, when the brain gets injured, you are often left with disabilities that persist for the rest of your life. Medical treatments can just help to stop for the damage and limit the functional loss from the damage. The healing process of the brain is not as the same as the skin. Number seven, myth, heart never takes rest. No, that is totally wrong. You always hear your heartbeat. So, it makes you wonder if your heart ever rests. You'd be surprised to know that your heart has already relaxed for about half of your life, even without a small hint. Here's what happens. Each heart cycle lasts for around 0.8 seconds. In this cycle, when the atria contracts, the ventricles relax. And when the ventricles contract, the atria relaxes. Amazing, right? Your heart knows how to get its desired rest without compromising its function. You should also try to take as much rest as possible. Number 8. Muscles are built during sleep. Sure, when you go to the gym and lift weights, you are working towards muscle strength. But it is during sleep that muscles actually grow. When you are in deep sleep mode, your hard working muscles can finally relax, allowing more blood circulation. In addition, hormones are released during sleep that contribute to the repair and restoration of tissues, which is crucial to the new muscle tissue formation. So, you should sleep for 8 to 10 hours per night. Without accurate sleep, time in the gym could be totally wasted. Number 9. The best sleeping positions. Sleep is very important. However, there remains some controversy about whether sleeping on your left side or right side is better for your heart. Experts think that sleeping on your right side could compress your vena cava. This is the vein that feeds into the right side of your heart. However, there's currently no evidence that sleeping on your right side increases the risk of developing heart failure. Some doctors recommend that pregnant people sleep on their left side because your liver is on the right side of your abdomen. Lying on your left side helps keep the uterus off and makes your heart start easier. For Kang, Making sure you stay well rested is more important than sleeping position. What do you think? Number 10. A large amount of your dust in your home is actually wrong you. Skin is the body's largest organ and an average can comprise 15% of a person's total weight. Humans share about 600,000 particles of skin every hour. It can settle as the dust in your home. Yes, outside, common sources of dust are dirt, sand, pollen, and pollution. Indoors, common sources of dust include dead skin and hair cells from humans. All in all, your human body is one of the most complicated and fascinating living forms on Earth. The way it functions is marvelous and well structured. However, we sometimes may take it for granted. Take the time to discover and appreciate what it does for you each day. Well, here is the end of today's nut sharing. What's the next surprise? Look forward to it. See you in the next episode. Ken knows a home of Nudge. Bye.